There's no doubt that having a scholarship like the Menzies behind you gives you hallmarks that other people recognise about what your qualities and calibre and work ethic might be. My grandfather really was given the opportunities he had in life because he was given a scholarship as a young boy. And I think he valued the opportunity to achieve the best that he could be. And he wanted that for all Australians, regardless of their circumstances. As an optometrist, I've seen firsthand the impact that vision loss can have on people. That was what drove me to think, surely there's more that we could do. So Z's doing some really interesting work with us, looking at people with an optic nerve disease called glaucoma. Gambling is a huge issue in Australia. My research has been about how people become addicted to internet gambling and how we can use technology to put in safeguards and prevention mechanisms. What we we're looking at is a question of responsible gambling messages being displayed on electronic gaming machines. The biggest challenge I think in society at the moment globally is dementia and cognitive problems. So we're looking at why patients develop weakness in neurodegenerative conditions, particularly motor neuron disease. Well, motor neuron disease is incurable and Matthew's been involved in trying to diagnose patients before it would be clinically possible. I saw that my architectural training and the role of the architect could be much broader and that architecture was ultimately about helping vulnerable communities. Building new schools, mobile libraries, classrooms in India. Esther's built up an understanding that if you work with people with few resources, you can get some fantastic outcomes. Being a woman of a different background who's had this international experience, all of those factors come into how I might look at a problem and how I might see a possible solution. What we look for is someone who has the capacity to inspire others. Someone who already shows strong leadership potential. We want to see that vision for the future. Part of the innovation was to find an instrument which didn't require the patient to go through something that actually most of them find quite challenging. In order to explore its potential utility, we would really enable that device to be accessible and easy to perform so that we can carry out these studies in a large number of patients. Sally impressed me as someone who was really quite keen on social responsibility. I grew up with everything I needed, and I've always been aware that not everyone is so fortunate, and I thought it was a really great opportunity for me to try and look at helping people that are dealing with those serious gambling issues. Premal has shown great leadership in standing up for recognition of women at the bar and the contribution that they make. Ultimately the law's about governing the relationships between people and if you can use your skills to help make those relationships better, then it's my privilege to be able to do that. We see ourselves as being the catalyst for achievement. By giving people scholarships, they have the opportunity to achieve their potential. So the Menzies Fellowship provided the financial support for me to work in the United Kingdom. Went through that to get to know the neuroscientists who are really at the cutting edge of their fields. I would never have got to study at Oxford if I had not been awarded the Menzies Scholarship. The value of somebody like Premier going to Oxford and bringing all those skills back to Australia is a measure. I think the best investment you can make is in somebody who's early on in their career. Without the scholarship, I would have never finished my PhD. I was totally ecstatic because after trying to work out how I was going to Harvard, it was all coming together. I could almost think of my life as before Menzies and after Menzies. The opportunity began such a wonderful period in my life. The strength of the support is that it allows you to come back to Australia under your own steam and establish yourself. Z has chosen to do the hard part, and I think the Menzies Scholarship is a fund that allows him to really follow his passion to do the work that he wants to do. Matthew leaves a mark. He is the highest profile neurologist in the country of his generation and one of the highest profile in internationally. Premola brings both a ferocious intellect and a decency and humanity that is a pretty rare package. I've been able to influence policies. I've seen things change even in my very short career. Because my parents come from such poverty, education was their ticket out. So I've grown up feeling extremely lucky to have had these amazing opportunities. I'm about to head over to the University of California, San Diego, and from there I'll hope to gain some skills that I'll be able to bring back to Australia. Anyone can have a go. It's just not open to a select elite. It's open to people who have a drive, who have a passion, who want to change the world. I look forward to the Menzies Foundation supporting more of these young leaders into the future. I'm keen to be a part of that. I'm keen to see what they achieve. I think that we're fortunate to live in a really exciting time where 
things are genuinely possible for everyone, for women as well. So if you're interested, there's absolutely no reason to not put yourself forward and apply for those opportunities.